Hi folks, Chris here. Today we're talking about Eric Johnson's harmonics and his approach to that. And I remember the first time I heard this sound. It was on a cassette tape uh, that I had that had a lot of different guitar players on it. And it had a Lenny Bro track. He was doing the Sweet Georgia Brown song, and uh, which he was famous for. And I heard him do these harmonics. And uh, I was hearing all of these kinds of, you know, things. I didn't actually know exactly how he was doing it. But later on, when Eric Johnson came out with Total Electric Guitar Video, he explained how he was doing that. And it's really interesting how that actually came uh, down the channels through uh, to EJ from Lenny Bro, actually from Chet Atkins. And I read the interview with Lenny Bro in one of the old guitar magazines that he had heard Chet Atkins do some harmonics with this kind of approach and he took that and ran with it and put all these roll ideas and chord shapes where you can um, get this very cool harp-like sound. So that's what we're talking about today, uh, getting that harp sound. And you hear uh, EJ is one of the foremost uh, players I think that uh, has really brought it to the fore and also Tommy Emanuel uh, does that quite a bit with his acoustic. Guitar. So it's great on either, but I do like it on the electric guitar. Today I'm playing my Stratocaster, as you can see. Uh, but I've got it on the bridge pickup, got a little reverb and a little chorusing on the amp. That's all. No delay or anything like that. So the, the first step that I, I'm going to take you through is actually doing this kind of sound, uh, this harp sound, without actually having to have the fret hand on the fretboard. So, uh, and you actually really don't even need a pick, so I'm going to put my pick down. Uh, but what we're going to uh, do, if you got your guitar and you want to do this, uh, is we're going to play the notes that we're going to be harmonic and are going to be at the 12th fret. And I'm just tuned standard, uh, uh, by the way, nothing, uh, no alternate tunings or anything. It does sound like you're in alternate tunings when you do these, they sound so cool. But what we want to do first to get this happening is we want to harmonic the, the low E string with our uh, at the 12th fret with our index finger and uh, thumb. That's a great way to start this if you're just not using your pick. Uh, you will later on if you get into this uh, approach, you will work on having your pick and you know put it inside a song or a melody or whatever where you will actually usually what I do as you know EJ does it uh, quite a bit with uh, cupping the pick in his in finger like that and harmonic in everything with uh, the thumb and uh, primarily the middle finger but uh, today we're just doing it without a pick to make it so easy that you can kind of get the idea of how this works so top string we harmonic at the 12th fret we're typically used to doing that by you know checking tuning or whatever, you know, the relative tuning, a lot of times we harmonic the, the strings uh, in a pattern like that. So that's kind of the thing we're doing, but we're doing it all at once with the picking hand. Whether you're left or right-handed, you'll do this with your picking hand, of course. So 12th fret, and you're going to harmonic that by plucking the string with your thumb behind the 12th fret where the index finger is making the harmonic, okay? So the pattern we're trying to get is this right here. I won't wait any further. You're probably, like, when is he going to do this and quit talking? This is what we're trying to get. One more time. So that is harmonicking the 6th string 12th fret. Then we're going to naturally play, no harmonic, har no more harmonics, the three open. That most likely will be done with your middle finger, okay? So that'll look like... Then we're going to harmonic the five string, again with the index finger and the thumb idea. And then we're going to naturally, no harmonic, just open second string. So those two will sound like this. And then the four harmonics, what fret? 
and then the one open. So we get three pairs of harmonic, natural note, harmonic, natural string, no harmonic. So that will come out like this, the pattern being six, three, five, two, four, one. Again. Configuration of that, you could start, you know, with the one open and do a five, one, four, one, five, one, six. If there's any kind of configuration you want to do. So get used to that first. That'll show you the, the approach. To getting the harp sound. So it sounds like a harp uh, when a harpist goes up the scale ever how they do that. I've never played a harp in my life, so I don't know how that operates. But this sounds like a harp when we do it. Next, we're going to add a fretted note. So same pattern here. We're not changing this any at all on the picking hand. But we're going to start adding a few notes uh, up with our fretting hand. So the first one I like to do is the F sharp, which is the first string second fret. And that will sound like this. So the pattern different on the end here. Uh, it's going to be 6-3. Six, 6 is harmonic. 3 is open. 5 is harmonic. 2 is open. 4 is harmonic. And 1 is fretted. That's your F sharp. But then we're going to end on the 3 string non-harmonic. So that's going to give it that really cool uh, flavor of, of the harp again. sharp note, pattern, harmonic six, three open, five harmonic, two open, four harmonic, one F sharp, first string, second fret, three open, and together, very cool, very EJ-like, okay. Now let's add one more string to that. <clears throat> We're going to add the C sharp. So all you got to do really is just bar those two together, first string, second fret, second string, second fret. We're going to get this sound, same order on the picking hand, all right? One more time. And we get that awesome sound again. So I'm just kind of going back and forth. So once you get used to that pattern, you'll see how to adapt it to other shapes. Maybe if you're <clears throat> doing a, a chord shape, which we're going to talk about in a minute too. So we're going to get this a little bit harder as we go along. But we started easy. You know, we did just open strings. Then we did with the F sharp. Then we put the C sharp with the F sharp. And we get that really cool harp sound. It's really awesome. My second position might sound a little more harpish. Or my fourth position, let's try that. I actually like the second a lot better than that one. So there's uh, how we approach it with um, first open and then by adding a few notes. Now let's look at maybe a chord shape, like a chord type idea. Uh, this is kind of a chord in a way, but if we do, um, this will be a little more complex. If we, this is one that I uh, saw EJ do. I think it was on his Total Electric Guitar video. I learned a lot of stuff off that. Me and a lot of you out there that's probably watched that video uh, learned a lot of stuff off that video. But if you focus on this for a second, um, it's a chord shape. It's real easy to remember. And that is uh, one and two in the ninth fret. 3 and 4 in the 8, and uh, 5 and 6 in the ninth fret. So it should sound like this if you just play the chord. Okay, so now we're going to harmonic that, though. And this is really going to have that EJ flavor, the Eric Johnson vibe. So this is going to take us all the way down to the uh, uh, 21st fret. So um, the uh, whatever uh, kind of 
fret configuration you're playing on, you may have a guitar with 24 frets, but uh, the Strat here, we've got, uh, if you look at your markers, you've got below the 12, 15, 17, 19, and then 20, 21, so that last, the last fret, actually, on a Strat. If you're playing a Stratocaster or Tele or whatever, uh, anything non-24 non fret, it'll just be your last fret that we're going to be operating with the pick hand. So here, we're going to do pretty much like we did on the uh, beginning of the lesson where we were playing open uh, at the 12th fret. So that's going to give us a cool sound like that. I'm going to go back to my bridge for this. It's a little bit more forgiving uh, for some reason. So, uh, so that would be... One thing about this shape, it's a little difficult to play, uh, especially if you're a novice uh, player. Uh, if you're intermediate, you'll probably not have any problem with this. I probably chose the hardest one uh, to do uh, out of the three. I've got one more we're going to do, but this is probably the hardest one. But you can actually break this into parts. You don't have to actually do the whole pattern all the way through. A lot of times as an accent, I will just kind of play like that. to change with this pattern, your last fret will be uh, the, the on your uh, non-24 fret guitar, will be the 1, 2, and the 5, 6, but the, the part of the chord where we're playing with the 8th fret right there, these, that will be right here at the uh, 20th fret. So that will be incorporated in your pattern as you roll up. Let me just play that slow so you can see what I'm doing. Do 
it slow again. And then I added the two string by harmonic and get uh, as well. So that you can go one step further if you want to. You can add the second string 11th fret as well. So that chord would sound like this. But if you harmonic it with the Lenny Bro, Eric Johnson vibe, you get that awesome sound. So it's a very interesting uh, concept. Um, once you get into this, you'll explore uh, the players that do it. Like I mentioned, you know, of course, Eric Johnson is the kind of the theme of today with this approach, but Lenny Bro, who kind of started it all, uh, Tommy Emanuel, listen to those guys. They do it a lot. Tons of videos of them playing where they do that and do all that. And if you watched my previous video, you saw me doing the Koto idea, and that can all be blended together with the uh, harp harmonics. So again, let's go over what we've talked about today. We first started with just open um, at the 12th fret, where we got... that pattern which is 6-3, six, 6 is harmonic, 3 is open, 5 is harmonic, 2 is open, 4 is harmonic, 1 is open. So that together. And then we said we can add other notes to this. We added an F sharp, 1st string, 2nd fret. We did the same kind of pattern. added the C-sharp. And the beauty of this uh, kind of sound, keep in mind, you're not going to get it exactly the same every single time, and that, I think, is the beauty of it. There will be variations and, and uh, changes. You could do the same pattern over and over, and it's going to sound different each time. You might not harmonic the same string the same way tw twice, is what I'm saying. That's, that's what's cool about it. It always sounds different. You know, if it sounded exactly the same every single time, that would kind of be boring, but it'll change every time. It's got that kind of variable uh, uh, kind of thing going on there. And then we did the, um, the hard chord, which is 1, 2, 9 fret, 3, 4, 8, 5, 6, 9 fret. And then we went all the way down to our last fret, if you're not on a 24 fret guitar. And uh, which is 21st fret, and uh, we played this pattern. And that is six harmonic, three non harmonic, five harmonic, two non harmonic, four harmonic, one non harmonic, three harmonic, and uh, if you want to harmonic the two, that would be on the 21st fret. So, again. And then if you get, you know, familiar enough by, you know, the vibe of this and the feel of it, move it around. You can put that uh, anywhere you want to. As well as the final one we did. Johnson, which kind of came from Lenny. Uh, Eric Johnson has really popularized it, and then uh, Tommy Emanuel, yeah, great stuff there, but rewind the video, go back and look at the lesson, and get this down and make it your own, and have fun with it. And I'll see you next time, very soon, as I'm uh, going to be posting a new video every week, the whole month of October, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all the cool stuff. See you next time.